Tomorrow morning, we start the day with a deep marine there that makes it all the way out to the Inland Empire. Now, this weather pattern is unique to us because of our oceans and topography. Let me explain. First, it starts with a cold ocean. Our water temperatures in the summer range from the lower to mid 60s. This is thanks to the California current, which moves water from near Alaska to Southern California. Now above the ocean are warmer air temperatures. This contrast creates what's called an inversion or lid on the atmosphere. The air is trapped below with nowhere to go and the air near the water is moist. Now this is where our unique weather pattern starts to form. Let me introduce you to the dew point. Simply put, it's the temperature dew or water forms. Here it's 64 degrees. The air temperature above it is 76. The ocean starts to cool the moist air to the dew point and look at what happens. The moisture condenses into clouds and fog and now we have our marine layer. This weather pattern is common in late spring and early summer because the water temperature and the dew point match in the morning. And with a gentle onshore flow, these clouds can go all the way out to the mountains. The inversion prevents the clouds from growing above 5,000 feet and keeps them near the ground. Now, if you're in the Gulf States or the East Coast, these clouds would continue to rise. Now, depending on the strength of high pressure, intensity of the sun, and of course, air temperature, the marine layer can grow or shrink. And have you noticed, we haven't had much of a June gloom the past two weeks. Our Southern California marine layer has been changing. Some professors at UC Santa Barbara looked at the marine layer in Santa Barbara, Burbank, Santa Monica, and Santa Ana. And what they discovered is that our marine layer is shrinking. They looked from 1970 to all the data to 2020, 50 years worth of data. And what they discovered is the marine layer is now 300 feet higher. It's 25 to 50% thinner. And it used to clear on average in the 70s at about noon. Now it clears at nine o'clock in the morning on average. And they feel that the responsibility lies on climate change. Warmer temperatures result in fewer clouds and it affects vegetation, it affects fires. A nice healthy marine layer brings or keeps humidity in the vegetation. However, a thin marine layer gets this vegetation dry, makes it an abundant amount of dry fuel and that creates larger fires. And we've seen the results of that the past several years.